I'm walking towards Waverley Abbey, the first ever Cistercian Abbey in England. It was set up in 1128 by William Gifford, the then Bishop of Winchester, and the original abbots and monks were actually shipped in from Normandy. The Cistercians are an order of Catholicism that can be said to be a stricter version of the Benedictines. They were formed in 1098, after becoming frustrated with how laid back the Benedictine monks were in their observation of the religious law. It wasn't long before the white monks, as they were known, found their way to Britain, arriving in the early 1120s under the headship of St. Stephen Harding. Twelve monks were originally imported from Lormone Abbey in Normandy, France, to take up residence in Waverley. Gifford gave the new abbey all the land within the parish of Waverley and more than 30 acres of the surrounding area on which to build, plant crops and become a thriving community. The abbey was also freed from all taxes, first by King Stephen and then by Pope Eugenius III himself in 1147. Despite not being quite as well off as some of the other abbeys in the country, Waverley Abbey always did okay, until 1201, when disaster struck. A flood tore through the grounds and all but carried the abbey away. The damage was so complete that the monks were left having to beg for food from surrounding monasteries and abbeys. And it wasn't just the abbey that suffered. As a mother house to nearby monasteries and villages, when the abbey suffered, the neighbouring people did too. Contemporary sources tell us that mortality rates began to rise, and even John, the abbot of Waverley himself, died. Undeterred by this, William, the rector of Broadwater, stepped up to begin the restoration of the abbey. Rebuilding work began about two years later, and just as they were getting back on their feet, King John decided to add to his highlight reel of failures and fall out with the Pope. He stole all the supplies and resources from the Abbey, leaving them once again in destitution. The 13th century was an incredibly difficult time for the Abbey, with floods ripping through the land, destroying the lower buildings and the bridges, and the ill favour of kings leading the Abbey into what the records call severe poverty. It wasn't long before their importance waned and they began to fade into obscurity. Not much is known about the Abbey between the end of the 13th century and the beginning of the 16th. But by 1535, King Henry VIII was looking to divorce his wife, Catherine of Aragon. And to do that, he had to split from the church in Rome. And as a victim of his widespread dissolution of the monasteries, by 1536, Waverley Abbey was left in ruins.